Here's one of the best pieces of advice you'll ever hear in golf, and it was made famous by a teaching pro called Harvey Pennock. So I've just coloured this golf ball half green and half white. And what he wrote, so if the middle line is the centre, the green line is to the outside, I'm stood to the inside, which is the white side, he wrote, the outside of the ball should never be entertained, meaning we never want to hit a golf ball from this angle, we're always better hitting it from the inside. So if you're set up to the golf ball correctly and turn away, your golf club's naturally coming into the inside of the golf ball, and that's where we want to be hitting it from, not from the outside. Really simple piece of advice, but it'll make a huge difference to your consistency of ball striking. Give it a go and let me know how you get on. struggling coming over the top this one simple swing change will completely transform your golf swing at the top of the backswing the way that we're going to cure this movement is the feeling is that you're going to push your hands away from your body so it feels like you're pushing it away now we're not casting the golf club it just feels like you're pushing your hands away because if you start the downswing this way you can't now come over the top so you're actually pushing it away Make sure you release the golf club at impact. And again, we can see how that path is coming from the inside. I just want to show you a very simple way of finding the correct ball position with each golf club in your bag. If you get your posture right, it will give you ball position automatically. Stand nice and tall, arms out in front, relax them on your body, bend forward from your hips till the club hits the floor, then relax your knees and just walk to the golf ball. Where the club sits on the floor is where the ball should be positioned. Seven iron. Hybrid. Fairway wood. Driver. So because the ball is teed up, we need to move the ball slightly further forward, but still follow the same routine. Arms, hips, knees. So now the ball is positioned more towards my front foot. Nice and simple to do. If you practice, it'll make a massive difference to your ball strike. Avoid this mistake when you're setting up with a driver. It's really common to see golfers with their hands ahead of the ball with the driver, rather than slightly behind. If you get them behind, it's much easier to hit up on the shot. If you lead with the hands, it's easier to hit down on the driver, which causes the shots either to go high or spin offline. So next time you're playing, check this simple thing that will make a massive difference to your ball striking. If you're struggling with body alignment, don't make this common mistake that golfers often do. So what they'll do is they'll make their setup and put the club next to their toes and have a look where they're aiming. Now this will give you a false reading because your toes may be flared out and that won't necessarily give you the correct feedback. So a much better way of doing this is to make your setup to the golf ball, then put the club across your thighs. This will give you a much more reliable alignment rather than the toe line. Very simple to do and very effective. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. If you, like many other golfers, have got confused about how to start your downswing, give this tip a go. So it's very common when people talk about firing the hips or pulling the arms, so on and so forth. Uh, that, I feel, leads to complications. A simple feeling from the top of your backswing through to the finish, make it feel like one motion. Allow the ball to get in the way of the swing. So from this position to the finish, one motion. The simpler you can make it, the more efficient and effective it's going to be. Give it a go and let me know how you get on. Here's one of the best pieces of advice you'll ever hear in golf. And it was made famous by a teaching pro called Harvey Pennock. So I've just coloured this golf ball half green and half white. And what he wrote, so if the middle line is the centre, the green line is to the outside, I'm stood to the inside, which is the white side. He wrote, the outside of the ball should never be entertained, meaning we never want to hit a golf ball from this angle, we're always better hitting it from the inside. So if you're set up to the golf ball correctly and turn away, your golf club's naturally coming into the inside of the golf ball, and that's where we want to be hitting it from, not from the outside. Really simple piece of advice, 
but it'll make a huge difference to your consistency of ball striking. Give it a go and let me know how you get on. So for this particular shot, I'm only a few strides away from the hole, but we've got a little bit of fringe here landing onto the, to the front of the apron of the green and, and rolling onto the green. Now what I want to do for this particular shot is take this area out of play, land it on a predictable surface and allow it to run to the hole. So what I'm looking to do now is just land this on the fringe, of the, on, the, on the actual green itself and let this roll towards target. So everything's set up correctly, so there's a little wrist set, if I just do this from face on, so there's a little wrist set here, release, so we're releasing the loft of the club back to the ball, and then a gentle uh, follow through. So that one <laughs> landed perfect. And obviously so this not. next video is about getting out of the bunker first time every time. Once you've made your correct stance, we're going to use gravity. We're going to make sure that the club goes up, it comes down and it goes through. So look how my swing flows all the way through to the finish. So what I've not done, or if you, if you want to guarantee leaving your golf ball in the bunker, stop on it. If you stop, all the speed stops, your golf ball's never going to come out. Now the stopping often uh, occurs because you're scared of the shot. So what we have to do is practice good technique. So, so that one down, through. If you're looking to start your backswing as smooth as possible with the driver and you're struggling to do it, give this tip a go. I've done this since I was eight years old and it stood me very well over the test of time. So instead of setting up to the golf ball with the club on the floor, just hover it off the ground slightly. The reason this works is there's no friction in the air and it does allow for a much smoother backswing. Sometimes if you put the club on the floor and you catch something or, you, or it grabs the ground, it can uh, alter your backswing considerably. So very simple to do, just make your normal setup, hover it just off the ground, nice and smooth takeaway and let it go. Uh, really simple tip to do, uh, well worth having a go. I personally would do it with the driver and not with the other golf clubs, but uh, you know, that's personal preference. Hope this has given you a bit of food for thought and take care, bye.